In the previous video, I talked about how you can separate the bucket from the shaft on your Saturn Iron Redline or, you know, pretty much any vehicle that uh, has a shaft and has a CV axle. By the way, that's called a bucket. Uh, I went and Googled all the names of all those little parts and shit. And this is part two. I'm going to uh, show you how to pretty much uh, rebuild, uh, fix the issue of the CV axle so it won't separate on the red lines. Because I know people drop them. They look nice. I'm not going to lie. They look nice. Uh, I bought my Saturn Ion red line on, on the uh, 6th of this month. Uh, four hours later, it broke. That's the original one, but yeah, it broke four hours later when I was uh, turning right. Uh, the CV axle popped out of the bucket and fucked everything up. Now, uh, you can rebuild your CV axles. Just go online. Uh, make sure you measure the... the there's um, a needle bearing housing that goes here. I lost them. I try to look for them, but I lost them. But anyways, uh, those things right on the inside of the bucket and here, and they house the needle bearings. Like this, they go like so, and those are the retainers and the clips. In case they don't pop out, or one pops out, and you get to retrieve all the needle bearings which is a pain in the ass I'm not gonna lie you can put it together uh, it's very easy you you're gonna pop out this uh, retaining ring which is gonna sit inside this one which by the way if that uh, that bearing housing pops out uh, you're able to push this one back and get onto the to the clip clip goes here if not, uh, you can do the measurements on the bearing housing. Uh, these things are called uh, tripod uh, needle bearings for uh, CV axles. And they are pretty easy to swap out over here on the top. Um, on this one, yeah, I'm probably going to have a rough time. But over here, as you can see. Uh, sorry. As you can see, it has an opening. With a screwdriver or the right pliers you can pop that ring off and knock this thing out with hammer hammer pop it out pop the new one in put your clip in and grease it up change your boot new uh, zip tie boots and you should be ready to go um, let's see if I can they sit somewhere. Sorry, guys. I know this is kind of shitty, but it works for the video. This one's never throw them away. Uh, your boots aren't this shape; they're circle shape. So this one will make the circle shape and make the seal. You can see this one sits right there. Then your boot's gonna come like that. Seal it off. They're uh, circular buckets that have um, metal fillers or cast filling up the, the little voids here and they don't need that so yeah, just keep that in mind. Anyways, so what happened with the axle, I'm gonna also give you the trick that I used to fix it. So let's muck it up real quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this thing goes like that. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's gonna be your. Uh, shaft as straight as I can get it 
when you're dropped your CV axle has its geometry you know off instead of writing as straight as possible it writes like this thus creating that right there so what happens when you turn this thing pops out so what you want is to move your axle back you can either do it here or do it over here uh, the easiest cheapest way I found how to do it is to go to any tractor supply get their one inch golden locking washer and place it on the side of the thread it um, well, the side that goes into your wheel hub what you're gonna do you're gonna you know it's gonna slide right like like butter all the way through here you're gonna use uh, your uh, 36 millimeter socket uh, the washer is gonna stop here and you're gonna whack it all the way around about here that's when your socket should like, hit here and all so your washer is gonna be here uh, put everything together you know sliding your CV axle torque your CV axle like normal and that washer is gonna end up all the way over here like I said it needs to be a locking washer it needs that little opening so it can stretch and get on top of this as you can see it's not a straight line no so you your CVX is gonna move uh, half an inch back that's all you need to be honest uh, well, it's gonna move a little bit more maybe uh, 5 8 depending on how much you tighten the bolt like I said it's a locking washer so the ends are about like that so when you you know torque it down they're gonna close but it's not gonna be perfect unless you really torque it yeah it's gonna close all the way you know getting on top of this but yeah that's that's the fix that I have a locking washer you know uh, if you want to do it the right way or whatever which by the way I uh, found it better to do it on here than over here because if you do it here on this side it has a lock that needs to reach a certain point in the shaft and if it doesn't it's gonna be you know slapping around on this side well you have a nut you have a retainer there's gonna be a retainer the nut don't forget to put a washer and then the nut if you don't have a washer uh, OEM they do come with a washer you know, uh, when you're putting the nut but yeah that's that's the fix uh, I did found my car to have those um, motor mounts degraded what I did to them I went ahead and got a uh, windshield glue I got those uh, U428 you can google them on online uh, U428 uh, just get a single tube will fill two mounts by two fill them up uh, let them dry about a day, a day and a half, so they can be tacky. You no, know, uh, after you do this, well, and do them in pairs. First, do one and two, and then do the other two. If you're gonna do all of them together, uh, I suggest first getting some spare, some used spare mounts, filling those up, and then swapping them out, all four, because uh, they do need some time to uh, cure. I'm doing I did them in, in pairs so you no know, it didn't hurt much but my mounts weren't that bad but yeah uh, that's the fix I was trying to keep it short but yeah we're already in 10 minutes so catch you later